Okay, everybody, welcome to Manchester. It is, of course, Piccadilly Gardens bus stop. And Mr. Hammer, you can't touch this. He's, uh, he's created better ice than Walter White ever could. Look at the transparency on these glass rocks. Ooh, -er. Anyway, let's go do something different. Okay, everybody, just got off the northern train. We're in Marple. Marple of all places. They've got the uh, Coronation Bunting still up. Now, how nice a name is Marple? Cheshire's best kept station. Wow, it's, a, it's an incredibly well kept station. Anyway, there's been a suspected murder. There's been a murder. I'm going to go check it out. Okay, we come out of the station, turn left. I'm going uh, quite a, down a steep incline towards a valley, and uh, being a clever potato, I'd assume that the river or the canal where the police divers are, are downhill rather than uphill. You see, I went to university. I can figure out that rivers and uh, canals are probably in the valley and not at the top of the hill. Fuck yeah. Okay, to my left is Brabins Park. We are currently on Brabin's Brow, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna search for this police operation. Something hilarious has just happened. A uh, wonderful guy uh, who watches my channel goes, "Charlie, what are you doing in Marple?" So I told him, and he goes, "No, you're wrong. You got to go back up the hill to the canal. Apparently, there's some locks up there." So Charlie's intelligence zero. Canal at top of the hill one. Out of breath back at the station, still going up a very steep uphill. Well, there you go. It's a nice middle-class area. Tennis clubs, leafy, and uh, police divers. Oh, no, 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 no. Northwest Headloo, underwater search. I wonder if they compress their own air canisters in there. I wonder, and I wonder. Check out the LED spotlight on this bad boy. Specialist search unit of the Greater Manchester Police. And uh, here we are, a canal at the top of a hill. Who'd have thunk it? I didn't think it. Peak Forest Canal Marple Locks. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. You okay? Sorry? No, in independent. Independent. I think I saw a. Yeah, something big was moving. I thought an otter. Might be an otter. Look at that. Can I just inquire why did Marple put a river at the top of a hill? That goes against the laws of physics. What's going on there? Why is there a, like we're at the very top of a hill. How is there a river at the top of a hill? Because it carries on a left. It goes uphill. Yeah. This is, I'm in the twilight zone. You need to go to Bunbury in Cheshire. Yeah. It climbs even higher Does it? So is this a river or a canal? A canal. A canal. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, ladies. Right. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. So, yeah, there's a, there's a big, oh, it's a fishy. I can see him. There he is. Yeah. Oh! I don't think it's the uh, Atlantic salmon going up into Alaska to spawn, but it's giving that vibe, it's half submerged. Look at that, can you see it, viewer? So uh, here's the look down the hill. Down the hill, everyone stumped by the top of the hill, a river and canal. So to give my viewers a bit of context, at 1.32 uh, last night, a gentleman in his 30s was last seen. And obviously he didn't turn up where he was supposed to turn up. People got concerned, and I think he was either last seen near the canal, or he was walking by the canal, or seen on video by the canal. And the police suspect, not saying they know, nobody knows. That's a lovely house, jeez, old vicarage. Hell yeah. 
tea with the vicar. So the police heavily suspect he's uh, fallen in the canal and they don't want to repeat of the Nicola Bully fiasco where uh, a lady was in the canal for 25 days or thereabouts. So they're uh, continuing it here. Let's have a look at the locks. Got your duckos. I'm not going to disturb you, duckos. But yeah, Marple seems like a very nice part of the world. Look, it's going uphill. All these locks. Victorian English engineering. Probably the pinnacle of any engineering until the Apollo space program. And uh, we've kind of fallen since then. Wonder why. There is trouble in the middle class paradise. We got the uh, fire service here. Hey guys. All good. Now, everyone's coming from over there. So it might actually be downhill. There's not uh, any searches going on down here. So it's probably that away. full dry suits because it's uh, a bit cold in the river takeaway message here is no galloping okay don't scare the doggies all right let's go and have a look a look see ancient wall i love it some boats and some very big thick trees very nice yeah it's a bit uh, Hello! Am I allowed to come a little bit? Can I come up to where you guys are? Nice. Thank you. So there's been a murder in the posh town of Marple. Allegedly. Allegedly. I am recording, so don't say anything that you wouldn't say in front of the queen there. Sorry, the king. Oh, oh, oh. Pass, pass close, sorry. Oh, is that? Yeah. Not allowed. Get around that side, yeah, yeah. Very civilized. Just gonna get some shots on in here. Is this okay? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Good old Victorian engineering. Can't go wrong. So, from what I saw in the news, the police have had their divers back in the river. There's a there's a canal in Riverside Trust. I recognise the logo. Oh, am I going to get kicked out? I've got a feeling I'm going to get kicked out. No. But that's it. But my usual content is like nasty people in Piccadilly Gardens, so the viewers will love this one for a change. <laughs> oh, it's a Lumix, Panasonic Lumix S5, full frame sensor. I'm on a 20 to 60 kit lens. It's on Vivid, filming at 10 megabits at uh, 4K, 4K 25 frames per second. Thank you. Yeah, for uh, bang for buck, the S5 is the best full frame camera. You know, you go with S5. Sony. S5, yeah. Sony has the brand, you know. Everyone's like, so you got to get a Sony or a Canon, but no. Panasonic's where it's at. Now that is very deep, nasty mud. And, uh, oh, poor guy. Oh, he's on his hands and knees now. But uh, if you look further up, there's another officer in the dense bit. Sorry about the lack of zoom, guys. Broken lens. Broken, not lens. Oh, broken lens kit, So we say. I think the lens is okay. The glass bit. But uh, here you can see the police wearing gloves. 
and a full dry suit searching for any evidence or for a body of a disappeared man. Now, of course, we're not monsters. We hope that the missing man in his 30s, look at the mud, look at that mud. Jesus, he's gonna need to be pulled out. Yeah, he's gonna need help. He's not escaping that. He's giving the thumbs up, but I don't believe it. He is not gonna get out of that. Oh, he is. Oof. That thick sludge is, uh, first of all, there's some more vans arriving over here. Can you see that? A couple more vans arriving, a few more officers here. There's the tactical aid unit. Don't know why they've brought the tactical aid unit. Are they expecting a riot in Marple? But uh, let's just enjoy this uh, police officer trying to escape the mud. It's actually quite scary. I would not like to get caught in that mud by myself at 1.30 in the morning on a random Monday coming home from the pub. Uh, it's been very dry here in the northwest of England for the last 10 days or so and there's no forecast of rain for another five days or so. So uh, as you can see, the river level is not very high. It's very low. And I uh, hope they have a rope to pull him out. He's doing okay now, but even in the middle of the river, you can see it's uh, almost knee deep, the mud he's uh, trundling through. Great verb. All right, he's made it. He looks exhausted. He looks absolutely exhausted, poor guy. Now, I, I believe they did the very similar a precursory search in uh, Weir at the uh, Nicola Bully incident. If you don't know what that is, a woman in her early 40s, a mother, she went walking the doggy, left her phone on the bench and then disappeared for three weeks and they unfortunately found her remains in the, uh, in the canal three weeks later. Hello guys. You alright? Yeah, I think that silhouette of the cops walking past there may have given me a thumbnail, but anywho. So as you can see, here's a slightly deeper end here. Is it okay here? Is it okay here? I'm just getting some shots for press. Hey guys, is it okay here where I am? I think so. Hello. Hey, Hiya. Hi. I just obviously want to get the best shot without upsetting you guys. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now, okay. At some point, this is going to move along, so... I understand. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, yeah, no worries, man. Thanks, mate. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. Look at that. The policeman said it's a public place, isn't it? Oh, there's families coming up behind me. But uh, these divers are not wearing masks, I think, because they're using their legs and their arms. You probably couldn't see it. No, it's, uh, it is too muddy. There's no way you could see in there with the uh, scuba diving masks. So they're using their limbs to try and see if they can feel anything. The guys in blue with the red neck bands, those are inflatable life jackets. They're from the Canal and River Trust. The country's very much into its historical trusts the National Trust, the Historical Trust, the Heritage Trust, the Royal Horticultural Society Trust, and you can become a member of any of them. Let's come over here. Let's get a slightly better shot. Here we go. I think uh, at this stage they literally do not know if the man's in the canal, but uh, they want to rule it out. And the only way to rule it out is to thoroughly search it. What are you looking for? Look at him. 
Now, this is a large body of water here, as you can see. Very funny moment, a little 10 year old boy, he shouts out just off camera to the police and they're, what are you guys looking for? So uh, I turned to his mother and I said, can I tell him? And she goes, yeah, 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 they can cope. I said, it's a, a missing person. And they're like, all right. The little boy's like, hope you find them. But uh, I'll tell you my hope. My hope is that he's gone on a bender to Amsterdam and he's not, not in the water. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, so anyway, as I was saying, it's a very large body of water here, maybe an acre, two acres. And uh, I would have thought a kind of fishing sonar type thing that sees if there's any objects underwater would have been a better way to search rather than two men using their arms and legs without scuba gear. But uh, what do I know? I'm not a specialist uh, recovery operation policeman, so I don't know. So uh, just had a chat with a police officer who says that the potential next stage is to drain this acre and a half body of water here. It goes around the back of those bushes. It goes around the back. This is quite a big thing. And he tells me it would take an hour to drain this. So why they have guys in the water when they could drain it in an hour, I don't know. But uh, maybe they're being efficient. Maybe keep the search up whilst the canal and Riverside Trust get the proper equipment or whatever they need to drain it. Anyway, in the interests of continu continuity and uh, correction, it's uh, not uh, filming in 10 megabits. It's filming at about 60 to 70 Mbps. What I meant by the 10 bit, it's on 10 bit color, if anyone knows what that means. Interesting searching method, but what do I know? No worries, mate. Cheers. No problem. Have you got, you got to take it? Yeah, I got enough now. Thank you. Good luck. No problem. Out of public sight. I think that means I'm not allowed to look anymore. Fair enough. Take care, guys. All the best. See you. There you go. So uh, we come back up towards the bit closest to Marple train station. This bit obviously has been drained. I was incorrectly thinking it was low due to the lack of rainfall, but uh, the mud that this gentleman was struggling in was uh, because obviously it's the sediment at the bottom of the canal. So uh, here's the little uh, canal house on the side and uh, if you look straight down you've got the tactical aid unit, the riot police. Um, I'm going to take a guess, hey guys you're right, take a guess that obviously the officers are versatile, they can use them for different purposes, not just riots but they're here in the full riot gear, which is interesting, visually interesting. Oh, sorry. Cyclist giving me the ping. You got to get the ping. So, uh... Forgive my... Hi there. Forgive my ignorance. Why is there TAU here? Why is there... Ta I thought you guys were like crowd control and... Search. Got you. See, I knew it. I told the camera that they can do more than just riot control. They're here to search. Thank you. Okay. I'll stand there for each other. 
No, I'm standing here so while they've gone there. <laughs> Sorry? No Sir, um, are, you, are you a policeman? I'm more than a policeman, yes. All right, but uh, I'm, as a member of the public, surely you don't say, can you go away now? That's a bit confrontational and aggressive. Well, you've already been asked to move once. Yes, but not... <laughs> no, but not what? I've not... Whoa, 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 whoa. You've sir, 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 sir. First of all, don't speak to me in that tone, you've sir. Been, you've been asked to move. Sir. You've been asked to move. No, 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 I've not been asked to move. That's incorrect. Right, so that I've officer, agreed with officers about where's okay to stand. For you to start with, can you go away, please? We'll move. I'm on a private road. It's a yeah. civil matter whether I'm here or not. If you have other legislation, I'll hear about it. Well, come and sit down and take some pictures of the dead person then, shall we? No, I don't want to do that. Well, can you move away then, please? Your attitude is our, awful. Can I have your shoulder number, please? Yeah, of course you can. What is it, please? 3530. Thank you, sir. My name's right. Charlie Veach. I, I'm no threat right. to you, but you should work on your approach. No, I don't need to. You've been asked to move from over there. All right. Anyway, thank you for confirming that they found, a, they found a dead body. I appreciate the confirmation. D sir, the way you've spoken to me is atrocious. Right, well, that's fine, but can you go away, please? Could you please tell me what legislation you're going to use to move me off a private road where I can see nothing? Tell me what legislation you're going to use. We legislation. We do. If you're causing a problem and you're stopping officers now from doing their duty... I will not. I will not. Right. I will well, not. He's, he's coming down now. He's obviously seen you. That's a PCSO, sir. I don't care who it is. He's yeah. asked you to move on, isn't he? He is, but uh, he doesn't have the power. And, and, and I'm arguing that I don't think you have either, especially the way you've spoken to me. We can talk to each other anyway, we want, can't we? Yeah, so you can be argumentative, you can film me, you can record yeah, me. You yeah, like. that's fine, but uh, yeah. I, I didn't come up to you and give you a hard time. You opened with, can you go away? Because you know why we're here. Of course I do, and you know why I'm here. Yeah, but not take pictures of bloody dead bodies, is it? I don't see that, any is dead that, bodies. Is that, your duty? Is, is that your whole role in life? The more you speak, the more my complaint's going to get bigger about you, sir. That's fine. Because you don't speak to members of the that's, public that's like fine. this. Put the complaint in. Okay. Yeah. And if I'm pressed, do you really want to stop my free expression? I, I don't care if you're pressed or members of the public. We're just asking you to move. Okay. And okay, so... Refusing, and you're just refusing to do that, aren't I can, you? I can refuse to. a request. I won't refuse an order. If you give me an order saying I will be arrested, I will not refuse it. Will I be arrested? Are you giving me an order? Pardon? Are you giving me an order? I'm just asking you to move on. It won't okay. be me that be arrested, yeah? Because I've got a different role. I'm doing a different duty. All right. I'm just asking you. Sure. A little bit of privacy. Yes. Just to move on. There's been a tragedy. And we That's don't fine. Need to take All right. The story, sir, is now about you, unfortunately. So I will respect that. I will not film the dead body. But the story is now about you and your, okay. your approach. That's fine. No okay. Problem. Thank you, sir. Can I have your first name? You've got it. You've got my number, haven't you? Three, five, no, but I said my name's Charlie Veach. It's a matter of uh, British politeness. Yeah, obviously... It doesn't matter, does it? It does. It doesn't. We've got, had a conversation. You've got my calling number, that's all you need. Yeah, but I'm not going to potentially do anything with it. I just want to know if you can be civil to me and introduce yourself. Turns out the PCSO isn't here to kick me out because I'm on a private road and uh, there's no uh, issues for me being here, sir. The issue is yes. that sooner or later we're going to be doing something. We don't want to be photographed. That's fine. Right? Yeah. So that's fine. You know but what we're doing. Absolutely. You know why we're yeah. Here, yeah. And but, you're just but, continuing. but obviously, you may assume that I know a little bit about the laws around photography. If I accidentally capture someone being removed from a river, the offence is when I publish it, potentially. Well, so. This is a canal. What happened to you for you to get angry and nasty to members of the public, sir? I, I, not only angry and nasty to members of the public. Okay, but your approach was atrocious. Well, it's the fact that you've been moved from that side of the canal. I haven't been moved. That's incorrect, you sir. You then walked around and come down a private road just to be You speak... No, no, no. You speak as if you're my father. I'm not your father, no. No, definitely not. <laughs> Thank you for respecting my rights to be here anyway. Um, it's a pity I had to argue with you to... You're not arguing with me, are you? We're having a... We're having a conversation yes but i had to argue my point because you were very very right. your desire was for me to leave well yeah of course it is and yeah it's, and it's still my desire for you to leave hi there hello how are you how's it going yes um your colleagues seeing as you won't give me your first name your colleagues 3530 have been very civil and you're incorrect they didn't 
ask me to leave. I arranged with them when it was okay to be there. Anyway, when you close it, I'd like one of you, the rest of you, to kick me out. Not this rude guy here. I've got an emotional issue with him now. So, um, if you want to escort me out, I'm happy to be escorted out. If you want to, but obviously I. Oh, no, I'm not yeah. been told yet. Yeah. If we're gonna have to. I see. Cordon this off. Then, uh... Okay. Now, of course, I will comply when the time yeah, is, yeah. but I just don't appreciate the rudeness. Oh yeah, on this, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah if you could leave for this place. No worries, I'll leave. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, you can view our conversation on the Charlie Veach channel on YouTube. Not that you'll be interested, but it might help you work on your approach next time. Thank you, guys. Also, you shouldn't have confirmed that they found a body. That was unprofessional as well. It's none of my business, sir. Heron in the canal. Okay, we're back in the Northern Quarter in Manchester and there's a film set here on back Piccadilly around the back and these days they usually leave me alone they don't give me any bother for coming and getting a few little photons with my little handheld they don't mind too much usually famous last words what you doing why are you filming well there you go there's a film set and I guess in that building it's permanently nighttime when in doubt, send them to Rwanda.